I'm a detective. People tell me to quit. I never consider it. Being a detective has become me. You can't tell God to quit being God. And you can't tell the devil to quit being a devil. That's just who they are. Jennifer Danes, a name and a smile that I'll never ever forget. This girl that they killed was a very good friend of mine. I've been working on this case for two weeks. Not a soul out there in the streets will let me a hand. I don't know where to go. Right now I'm confused as anything. This city isn't big enough to hold the rage that I feel right now. I'm in the diner, see? I go there every day and I see the same people. Just puppets. They come, they laugh, they eat, they order more food. Hardly a single thought of their minds other than the joy of company and the thoughts of a wonderful future. But I sit here with all eyes on me and I feel them. And I stir my coffee as it gets colder and colder. Just another glass of medicine to help me forget all the pain and sorrow. And I pretend like I'm everybody else. Bull crap. I know I'm not like anyone else. And I don't want to be like anyone else. The waitress comes and looks at me. Gives me that same sarcastic blank smile. How's your day? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Makes me want to vomit. Simple joy and simple pleasures have not been in me for a long time. I have a different joy. Bring in justice. So I leave the diner in hopes of finding some peace by searching for the clues. But the answers, they slip from me. So I walk the streets. Hoping the answers will come to me like a heaven sent muse. Doesn't happen. This is real life, and there's a girl that is dead, and it's up to me to find that killer. I look all around me at the crowds, faceless millions, dulling your minds with a drug of TV, banging the doldrums. Me? I finish where I faint, and there is no finish for me, not till I find the killer. This is where they found their body, lying face down in the public square. There's a rumor that if you touch certain spots on the ground or on the wall, legend says that you may be able to hear the past. So I touch the ground. And I concentrate real hard. I hear nothing. I just feel the cold ground. I realize that I'm touching a spot that soaked up the blood of one of my dearest companions. And I realize, no matter how many clues I uncover, I still can't get her back. They could kill the murderer. They could lock him away. And for a moment I would smile. But the smile would recede to a frown. As I realize, she would still be gone. And I would still be here. Alone.